In my previous LED videos, I covered building a LED light fixture from scratch, and it used numerous low output, um, narrow beam LEDs. Uh, in this video, I'm going to convert uh, a standard light fixture, a pendant fixture, to um, LED uh, illumination. The original uh, bulb for this fixture was a halogen bulb, which plugged into this little socket right here. Um, in the, as you may know from having halogen fixtures, the bulbs don't really last that long. They're rated for 800 hours, but they don't seem to really last that long. You're replacing them quite often, and they tend to be $5 or more, so it's a little costly. Um, originally, this fixture had a uh, transformer to take your standard 120 volt AC power down to uh, like 12 volts AC. So it's not going to be suitable for our situation with the uh, LED. Um, the LED we're going to use for this is going to be a uh, Lux Drive LED and uh, it's 240 lumens and it, it's a 140 degree beam angle which is very wide and it's a cool white, it's around, it's, it's around 600 degrees so that's you know pretty very as white as it gets basically for a, a light fixture. Uh, we're going to mount it to a copper heat sink with just a simple two-part epoxy, which actually will work for this scenario. It'll provide a, a thermal um, conductance between the LED and the copper to keep it cool, because it does need some cooling. Uh, we're going to drive this LED with a uh, something a lot simpler than the last project. It's pretty convenient. It takes standard um, your standard AC power from you know 120 volts. And it's a LED controller, and it'll it'll provide uh, 350 milliamps of constant current. So you wire as many LEDs as you well, at least 10 watts worth of LEDs in series, and they all get 350 milliamps. And that's what this is rated at for for 250 uh, lumens. Um, and the LED itself is going to be mounted inside the fixture just by simply when this is you know glued bending these tabs back and using friction to fit inside this actual this glass cube. So this, this can take quite a bit of heat and mounting it this way. Um, during the break I'm going to glue this little LED onto the uh, heat sink and then we'll talk about soldering it all together. solder on the wires to connect the LED to the fixture. Uh, we're going to heat up these little solder tabs, get our wire in position here. Mm -hmm. Yep, this can take a little bit of time. Uh, the factory solder can be pretty, a little bit of high temperature. 